Alexander II was the third to last Tsar of Russia. He reigned from March 2nd, 1855 until his assassination death on March 13th, 1881. Alexander II was the Tsar responsible for ending serfdom or slavery in Russia in 1861, and he was the Tsar responsible for selling Alaska to the United States in 1867. Even though he was granting the people pretty much what they wanted, there were still people out there that wanted to kill him. There was a total of five assassination attempts on his life, but none of them were successful. It was the sixth one that was successful, and that one occurred in St. Petersburg. So we're going to go to St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, Russia. The assassination occurred on Sunday, March 13th, 1881, because every Sunday, Alexander would go from his palace right here, this is called the Hermitage or the Winter Palace, to this building right here, where every Sunday they would do the military roll call. He traveled in a bulletproof carriage given to him as a gift from Napoleon III of France. So like all Sundays, he was basically in this building for the roll call. I'm going to go down to street view. Right here. And then when the roll call was completed, he headed back toward the palace. So here is the location where Alexander II came to the military roll call that Sunday morning. After a roll call was complete, he left the building, got back into his armored carriage, and headed down the road, I'm assuming, somewhere down that way. I don't know the exact route on the way back, but it would have been in that general direction. And when he left this building, little did he know, it would actually be the last few moments of his life. He most likely came down this road right here and made it to the canal, that you can see here, then made a right turn. So Alexander would have come from, that, from down there, this direction, would have made a right turn headed down to the location where he was eventually assassinated. And it was right here in this area, on this spot right here, where they built a church named Church of the Savior on Blood, because this is the location where he was assassinated. And what happened was after he was rolling back to the Hermitage or the Winter Palace, and when he was right here in this area where the church was built, a young member from the People's Will radical group threw a small white package wrapped in a handkerchief under the horse's hooves, hoping it would blow up under the carriage. It exploded and killed one of the guards and wounded many people watching the Tsar pass by. The bulletproof carriage protected the Tsar, and he was not hurt. Now, it was said that after the bomb went off, that the Tsar exited the carriage to help the wounded people. The assassin was immediately captured and began screaming to someone else in the crowd. While the Tsar was outside of his carriage, a second assassin standing by the canal, so he was somewhere here along this fence where the canal is, and the first assassin would have been on the other side over here. So the second assassin came off of the fence, raised both of his arms, and threw a second bomb at the Tsar's feet. The detonation shattered the Tsar's legs and mortally wounded him. So that assassination occurred here. I'm going to see if we can see this from street view. And right here, this is the Church of the Savior on Blood. They built this church as a memorial to Alexander II because it was on this spot, probably pretty much under this section right in here. This big section here, right underneath that where the bomb actually blew up and killed him. So Alexander II came down this way from over there, down here in his armored carriage, 
And when he got to this location right here, where they built this massive memorial, that's where the assassins came out with the bombs. First bomb, or the first bomber missed him. Wounded a bunch of people and wounded himself. And what I heard was that he got out to help the wounded people and possibly the bomber. And while he was out there helping the wounded people, the second assassin came out and blew him up. And they built this church on the location where he was blown up. Now, after he was mortally wounded, they took him back to the Winter Palace. So, back in the carriage and carried him back to the Hermitage, which is right here. And he was taken to a room that probably will not be able to see from the street. But here is the Hermitage, and there's one of the main doors. But if you go over the two windows right behind this tree, right in here, is the room that he was taken to where he would die several hours later. And, of course, that room would be on the kind of the southwest side of the Hermitage, right in here. So after they blew him up, they put him back in his carriage and they brought him back here to the Hermitage where he would eventually die a few hours later. So it's a possibility that they brought the carriage through here right up to that front door took him in brought him to the room behind these two windows right here where he eventually succumbed to his wounds. It basically says that Alexander II died in this room in the Hermitage. Right inside this room. This is one of his suits. And some of his furniture. Now after he died, they buried him where they buried all the czars, right here at the Peter and Paul Fortress. And they buried him right here inside this big beautiful building. But he was buried inside this building. In fact, his tomb is at the floor level, the first floor, about right in here, along with all the other czars of Russia that are also buried here. And they constructed this big, beautiful building to cover them up. So it's basically a cemetery that was covered with a big, beautiful building. Here I am right outside the gate of Peter and Paul's fortress. This is where all the Russian czars have been buried. It's basically a cemetery for Russian czars. And inside this building is where all the czars of Russia's coffins are lying. And I'm going to go in there in just a minute. This is a magnificent looking building. Inside the building. And here's some coffins of the, the czars.
here is Alexander II's final resting place. They say that he is actually buried under the ground. In fact, all of them are buried under the ground. And this acts more like a headstone, but his final resting place is right here after his assassination. So there you have it, the assassination location of Russian Tsar Alexander II, right here on Google Earth.